everyone welcome to fifth coding i hope you all are doing good today we are going to see about the topic of print increasing okay we are going to print the numbers in the increasing order with the help of recursion if you are not clarified about the recursion then you can see my previous video just i will give small brief explanation about uh, recursion then i will move on to the part okay okay recursion is nothing but the function that will call itself the function will call itself we have two cases in that one is then base case base case and another one is then recursion case the base case is used for to terminate the function okay base case is used for to terminate the function the recursion parts will get iterated this is a small explanation about recursion if you want to know the full detail of the recursion then i will prefer you to see the previous video okay okay this question is print increasing okay this question will be print increasing in this question the user is go if the user is giving an input as 5 then we are going to give that output as 1 2 3 4 5 that is it is in the increasing order fine okay what is the question you are given a positive number n okay we are given they are going to given the positive number n we are required to print the counting from 1 to n from 1 to n we no need to print 0 we are going to print from 1 to n you are required to not use any loops we are not allowed to use any loops we are not allowed to use any loops okay this is our condition then don't change the significant function okay fine then now we are going to do this function okay first in print decreasing print decreasing my expectation is okay my expectation is if the user give the value as 5 then i am going to pass that it is into f of n then my output will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fine. We can take the faith. If f of n is equal to 4, then it will print 1, 2, 3 and 4. While the expect my expectation and my faith is meeting at the point. Okay. In particular point, my expectation and my faith will meet in certain particular point right my expectation and faith will meet in that point if f of 5 is equal to f of 4 then it will be 5 fine okay this is if the user given an input as 5 if the user is given an input as 5 then i need to print in an order of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If the you if okay, this is my output. We are going to find this. This is our output. We are going to find this solution. Okay. First, I will code this function, then I will explain this function. If n double equal to 0, this is my base condition because I no need to print 0. I go I am going to print from 1 to n. So if n double equal to 0, then I can return. Okay, then I am going to call this function print decreasing of n minus n. Right. I am going to call this function decreasing of n minus 1. Then print n. Okay. We are trying to run this. I will explain the code. Okay. It is accepted. My answer is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. My answer is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. Try to submit this. Okay. We got the correct answer. We got the correct answer let me explain the code then you can easily understand this okay
इट इज एन वेरी ईजी क्वेश्चन ओके इट इज एन वेरी ईजियर क्वेश्चन सॉरी Increasing of yeah. okay then we are this is our goal let me explain this okay this is my stack this is my stack i'm going if the user give the value n is equal to 5 okay we are going to check the base condition if n is double equal to 0 no the condition is false if this condition is false then the print decreasing of n minus 1 already we created one space that print decreasing of n that is the print decreasing of n the value is 5 okay then again we are going to again we are going to make one space that print decreasing of n minus 1 n minus 1 is 4 again we are going to pass this value to this function it will not print this value because before that we are calling the function then again the call from fun calling function will go to the called function the called called function will get executed the now the value of n will become 4 it will check the base condition the base condition is false again the print decreasing of print decreasing of n minus 1 the value will be 3 again it will goes to this function the it will now the value of n will be 3 it will check whether the n is double equal to 3 no this condition is false if this condition is false then it will going to create one space in the stack then it will store print n minus 1 3 minus 1 will be 2 then it will create the space for 2 again the value will be called to the called function print decreasing of 2 it will check the base condition if n double equal to 0 either this condition is true no this condition is false if this condition is false then again the print decreasing of n minus 1 that will be 1 because the value of n is 2 2 minus 1 will be 1 1 again it will be going to that function then the print decreasing of 1 okay print decreasing of 1 1 double equal to 0 no the condition 1 double equal to 0 no the base condition is false again it will come here it will be doing print decreasing of 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 will be 0 okay it will call this function print decreasing of 0 n double equal to 0 that is 0 double equal to 0 whether this condition is true or false this condition is true if this condition is true it will going to return it will going to return the values it will going to return the values fine well initially i am calling it as first did this then 4 then 3 Two one. Okay, now I am going to print this. I am going to print this n numbers. I am going to return these values. It will first print one. Fine. Then it will call downwards. It will print two. Then it will print three. It will print four. It will print five. So output of this will be. One, two, three, four, and five. Because it will, it is not printing the values, right? It is print. It is not printing the values. It is just print one, two, three, four, and five. It is just store in this function. Then it is printing the values, so that our output will be one, two, three, four. If we are giving this print value before the statements, then see what will happen. Okay. Then it will print in the reverse order one five four three two one because it is directly printing the values, right? So it is just 
printing the values so it will be our correct answer yeah okay i hope you understand this video you understand this question clearly if you understand this question then stay subscribed to pep coding have a great day thank you for your time